Well, you are here tonight at our 13th annual pasta and chicken dinner at the Palazzo Grande. We have 372 guests this year. This is a record number for us. Um, we couldn't do it without our sponsors, the MIT TV. Thank you, MIT TV. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you, Brendan, for taking on a huge role at the MIT right now. You're doing an awesome job. Um, and we just want to thank all those that came out to support us tonight. Chicken and pasta. We've got great desserts that have been donated by local bakeries. We've got 40 gift baskets. We've got a bicycle. We've got a, a board that has cash and lottery tickets. Our goal tonight is to raise $20,000. You can imagine with the rising costs of gas, food, and just about everything else that our costs are going through the roof. So unable to keep up with the demand, over 250 clients every month. We really need this money. So we just want to thank all of our supporters for coming out, all of our sponsors, and we hope it's a great evening. Thank you. Okay, everybody, I just want to thank everyone for coming out tonight to support Samaritan House, our 13th annual dinner. Um, as you can imagine, with the rising cost of everything from gas to groceries, it's more important now than ever for you guys to come out and support us, and we're so grateful for the support of our community. We're hoping to raise at least $20,000 tonight to stack our pantry for about a month and a half. Um, so you can see our statistics are on the table. Just tells you how much we are serving our community. So again, I wanna thank you for coming out. I wanna thank Kim. Kim has been beyond working so hard for this event for the last six months. She's an amazing event coordinator and I am so blessed that God put her in a path to Samaritan House. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Kim. Okay, good evening everyone. Events like this could not be possible without every single one of you in this room. We are so blessed to have the support of all of you. It's just, I, I'm looking out and I'm so amazed by this. We are 50%, you guys can't hear me? Okay, we're working on getting the other mic, but for now I'm gonna have to use this one. So we are at 50% more attendance than we were last year. That's just amazing. <laughs> just goes to show us how much the community realizes what Samaritan House does. Our numbers um, with the inflation, like Kathy mentioned, our numbers are just skyrocketing. We are helping more and more people every day. And it's because of you attending events like this that we're able to do that. So we thank you so much. I want to start out tonight by thanking our event sponsors, the Dudgeon Family Tropical Smoothie Cafes. We also have an event sponsor, the Romeo Lions Club. Thank you. The Romeo Lions Club also works with us throughout the year. One of the events that they do, and somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, I believe it's in January, they call it Stuck the Bus. So it's on a Sunday and they just get a school bus and stuff it with everything they can to help provide Samaritan House with supplies. So we thank you guys from the bottom of our heart. I'd also like to thank Ruth Heidebrack, The Mint TV. They are our dinner sponsor tonight. We have the, our dessert sponsor is Romeo Family Restaurant. Zoe and her family, thank you guys so much. Zoe and her family are also donating the um, eggs that we need for our Easter baskets that are going out. So again, thank you guys for that. We so appreciate everything you do for us. We also have our centerpiece sponsors, Tim and Margaret Trablowski. They are on our board of directors and are at every event working so hard to just help Samaritan House do what we do best. St. Paul's Episcopal Church, thank you guys. I would 
would like to say thank you to Gene Zott for Michigan. Gene is running. Where is Gene? Gene, you are running for a Shelby Township seat. Am I correct? Michigan House of Representatives, so thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. I don't know if that's better. Is that better? No. No, no. okay. So thank you, thank you so much, Gene, for, for sponsoring tonight. We appreciate it. I also want to thank Silver Pine Medical Group and their new facility in Washington Township. Let me see, Zoe, I hope I do this right. Dr. Do Dr. Tanglos, thank you so much. And again, congratulations on, on your new facility. We thank you for sponsoring. And last but not least, I'd like to uh, thank Jeff and Louise Trott for giving us a centerpiece sponsorship. Our sponsors make it possible for us to make these events amazing. The other thing that I really want to acknowledge why I have a chance is this particular committee was made up of our board of directors, some of our board of directors, and some of our volunteers. This committee just did an absolute amazing job of knocking on doors and getting all of the donations. Every single thing that you see on that raffle table has been donated to Samaritan House for this event. Um, I want to acknowledge a very beautiful lady who's sitting in the back corner in that red dress and she's giving me the evil eye. Um, this is my partner in crime, Helen, and Helen is the one who put, helps me put all of these raffle baskets together. And she said something that really kind of surprised me yesterday when we were setting up. She stood back from the raffle baskets and just said, wow, where did all of this stuff come from? She says, it just amazes me that we just keep getting more and more donations, and that's because of the wonderful businesses and the wonderful individuals who are helping us do this mission. So again, from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of Kathy's heart, Thank you all so much for being here tonight. We couldn't do this event without you. We couldn't do our mission without every single one of you. And I'm gonna turn the mic over to Pastor D, who's going to say grace, and then we're gonna eat. Oh, one more really quick thing while I have everyone's attention. If you have bought a raffle ticket, the red ones, and you're putting them in the baskets, I wanna, let you in on a little secret, don't tell everyone. But there is an envelope attached to each and every raffle basket. Inside two of the raffle baskets, and I'll be honest, I don't even know which ones because I can't trust myself not to want to tell the secret to everyone. There are two baskets that not only will you win the basket, but you will win a $50 bill. The rest of them have a dollar bill, and that's kind of like your consolation prize. So, <laughs> on that note, I'm handing it over to Pastor. And one more quick thing Pastor just brought to my attention, sorry. Um, my volunteers, please be the first ones to eat. We are going to shut the raffles down, the sales of tickets, for a half an hour so that the volunteers can eat. Volunteers, please be the first ones up to eat. I promise not to make you deaf. <laughs> please join with me um, for a moment of prayer. Tender and gracious God, we thank you so much for the gift of this time together. We thank you for the blessing of being a blessing for others and for fundraisers like this that help so many people in our community. We ask that you help us to go out into the world and, uh, as I said, be a blessing for others and to provide them with a better uh, 
form of life and quality of life. We ask that you bless this food to our bodies. Bless it, Lord, and help us again to go out into the world and share your love with others. In your son's most holy name we pray. Amen. Amen.